Hello guys, this is the lecture series on digital image processing and digital image processing this is one of the important subject okay where you will find its application in almost every field of science engineering arts and commerce and nowadays it becomes one of the important research oriented subjects in every specialization of either MSc computer science information technology MCA MTech IT or even you will find this subject in mathematical sciences electronical sciences also as this subject syllabus is very vast I will try to cover all most all the important areas and I will also try to cover their applications in different areas through some practical examples and for that practical implementation I will consider OpenCV that is Python and Python and you know that MATLAB is also frequently used for digital image processing if time permits then I will cover that one also so myself Dr. Deposity Bora so let's start today's first class on digital image processing and the one thing I want to say that for this digital image processing lectures you may consider this book that is digital image processing by Gonzalez and Woods and this is this serves as the textbook in almost every university curriculum course curriculum okay so this is the front page you will see digital image processing by Gonzalez and Woods so first class and this is about optics and human vision you know the optics optics related to our lights and human vision so <clears throat> this is the physics of light so light means what in light the particles are known as photons and they act as waves and there are two fundamental properties they are amplitude and wavelength do remember amplitude and wavelength and you know this frequency term you almost go everywhere this is the inverse of wavelength so there is a equation there is an equation between our wavelength and frequency and this lambda represents wavelength and this f represents frequency so lambda is equal to z by f as we have already said that frequency is the inverse of wavelength and this c is the speed of light and the value is this one 299 792 458 meter per second clear now as the light concept is clear to you and where you have find found that photons are the particles of light and they act as wave and two fundamental properties are satisfied that is amplitude and wavelength and you also find that frequency is the inverse of wavelength okay now coming to the our digital image processing what do you mean by digital processing and why i have mentioned about this light as you know these are the actually basic terms related to our vision can you imagine your vision in a dark room no okay so light is very much important in case of our human vision now what is digital image processing digital image processing focuses on two important tasks first one is improvement of pictorial information for human interpretation then second one is processing of image data for storage transmission representation for autonomous machine perceptions now this first one is very much important because in digital image processing maximum times we focus on this part and that is known as popularly known as enhancement where we try to improve the pictorial information present in an image 
for our human interpretation. Second one is for the processing of the data, image data for storage, transmission, and representation. Clear? Now, the continuum from image processing to the computer vision can be broken up into low, mid, and high level processes. You see that image processing where we are involving in two tasks. Now, we have another term that is known as computer vision. So, what is that actually? It um, involves three processes, low level, mid level, and high level. So means from the journey from the image processing to computer vision, we have these three processes. So the low level, level process. Here you will see that we are considering two things, input and output. In the low level process also, the image is the input and output is the image. But what are we doing exactly here? We try to remove the noises, we try to sharpen the image. Coming to the mid-level process, mid-level process means here input is the again image but output will be the attributes. So we are not considering the whole image now as an output in mid-level process, we are considering the out attributes. So you will see their application in object recognition, segmentation, etc. where we try to bring the object of that image as our output and when the objects are concerned so of course attributes where we are focusing on so we try to output the attributes then high level process input will be these attributes found in mid level process output will be the understanding okay so as for example seen understanding autonomous navigation means you already have recognized the object now, from that, what is the understanding level that you have attained? That is the high level process. Clear? So, that is the journey from image processing to our computer vision. So, three processes, low level process, mid level process, and high level process. Now, let's discuss about the history of image processing coming to the early 1920s, where one of the first application of digital images in, was in the news paper industry, that is Bartland Cable Pixar Transmission Service. Here images were transferred by submarine cable between London and New York. Pixars were coded for cable transfer and reconstructed at the receiving end on a telegraph, telegraph printer. Okay, so it has been started as early as 1920, but of course there was no for mass improvement. Then mid of late 1920, 1920, improvement to the Bartland system, do remember the system name that is Bartland system, resulted in higher quality images. New reproduction processes based on photographic techniques and increase the number of tones in the reproduce image. See, we are using the term reproduce. Means even then also we are trying to what? Enhance the image, isn't it? So this is the uh, improved image because 16 tone is, I mean, use. So see, this is the early 15 tone digital image. Then 1960, improvement in what? Computing technologies and the onset of the space race led to a surge of work in the digital image processing. Then in the 1964, so computers are used to improve the quality of images of the moon taken by the Ranger 7 probe. Okay, then these techniques are were used in other space missions, including the Apollo 1, Apollo landing mission. You can see this picture. Okay, this picture is of the moon taken by the Ranger 7 probe. Clear? Then 1970s, digital image processing begins to be used in medical application. 1979, Charles Gautry and Houtsbilt and Professor Alan M. Cormack shared a Nobel Prize in Medicine for the invention of what? Tomography. And what is tomography? That this is the technology behind the computerized axial topo tomography scans. Okay, you will see that the typical headslide cat image. Then this is very famous. Actually. 